So check this thing out. It's called Amazon Mechanical Turk and uh, it gives you access to global on-demand 24-7 workforce. So the idea is that it is people all over the world doing AI training tasks by labeling different types of data, for example, um, for data collection and analysis to accelerate machine learning and development. So it's like people in low income countries like the Philippines, for example, sit in there and they say whether this picture shows a dog or a cat or something like that. And you can at some point have AI help train other AI. Uh, it's not always the case and uh, you still need a lot of human input for the models to become big and the models are only growing larger right now and they're literally called large language models and you're all familiar with ChatGPT or Grok or the Google models that they have, all the different ones. What if you could have this kind of mechanical Turk that connects the workers with the people who need this work to be done? but in crypto. So not everybody has access to a bank account, especially not people in the lower income countries. It just makes sense to have a crypto integrated here. And I almost feel like I'm shilling this project, but basically this was all like a lead on to this project I found. I'm gonna be pretty quick about it. I just uh, found it and thought it was interesting. So I'm making a video. So it's called Sapien. Here is their website. And uh, you sign up, you play tasks, so this whole thing is gamified, so you kind of, I mean, you can also do it if you're just really bored. Uh, and then you earn rewards for it, and the rewards can be either USDC or the Sapien AI points, and you level up. So the more points you have, the more kind of credibility you have, and this credibility allows you to gain um, access to higher rewards tasks and maybe some people who are like coming up to Sapien and requesting their data training. Um, they are like going to have certain cutoffs for people with certain points or something like that. I initially thought, well, yeah, that's just another AI coin that tries to pump on the whole crypto X AI trend. And um, well, technically it is <laughs> because it's still like trying to combine crypto and AI. But then I looked into the team. I found their LinkedIn, which is um, 3000 followers, which is kind of legit, <laughs> more legit than any other AI coin that I have seen recently. <laughs> and when I looked into the people, so I have these tabs opened. One of the co-founders of Sapien is uh, Trevor, who is a guy who previously worked on Polymath, Polymash, Tokens.com, and now Sapien, which is, I mean, these two especially are the ones that I've heard about and I've heard pretty good things about them and they're like well-made. And uh, Robin Stone is another one who is uh, a very big kind of uh, founder, I would say. I'm not sure exactly whether he's considered a founder of just or just a C-suite in Sapien, but he previously built base at Coinbase, which is uh, also kind of puts more kind of my trust into Sapien itself, that it's not just another AI coin. Why I keep t saying that. And the reason I found it in the first place is just uh, because they recently had a funding round in October 2024. So this year they raised $10.5 million in a seed round. So it's a second seed, as you can see. Um, so basically what I like seeing here, I like seeing a variant in the lead investors. And I like that Animoca Primitive um, and Yield Guild uh, games, they both like, all three of them, they reinvested in the second round. So it kind of shows that um, the projects and the VCs still believe in this project. Of course, the just the funding is not the biggest thing you can uh, kind of discern by, but the conviction of VCs in something often shows a conviction of the market uh, in the same thing. But again, um, no financial advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. I recorded a short demo yesterday evening. So let's just uh, watch over that demo and I will just explain briefly. Um, the rewards are either in USDC or with the points, the rewards points. And based on my experience, whenever there are both, it's more common to have points rather than USDC directly. So we'll see how it works out here, but I would expect the more heavy lenience towards points and uh, the distribution of what kind of tasks you get uh, like for usdc or for points will also depend on your ranking so the more tasks you complete the higher is your ranking and this ranking can like open access for more tasks that maybe are 
like more varied in terms of USDC or points rewards. Right now we are in the alpha release and you can earn points to redeem for future rewards. So maybe expect an airdrop or just a direct conversion of your points to rewards. Um, then once you get 10,000 points um, and you maintain your accuracy, you get other more highly paid work. And then there are limited time challenges to earn USDC right now without special experience. Then in the beta release, there are going to be more ways to redeem and earn points. And finally, this redemption is going to come out. And there are also more diverse challenges to earn USDC. However, in the production release, you will have to earn points and get paid for tagging data. So I'm not exactly sure how the points versus USDC is going to work in the production release. Here, I would like to hear and watch for more information, which is again on their Twitter and Discord. If you go to their Discord, it's pretty regular crypto Discord. Uh, however, some things that you may like find particularly important that are unique to this place is um, in the engage part, whenever they post a tweet, they uh, allow you to earn points by interacting with that tweet. So you connect your Twitter here and then you earn points for uh, interacting with a tweet. And those are the sapient points that are connected to your account. There are some concerns that I had when I just discovered sapient. So it's not a paid video. I'm just saying you my straight up opinion. Um, I had some concerns about privacy because there was an ability to connect to WorldCoin and therefore kind of qualify for some particular tasks. I am personally very hesitant to show and give up my biometrics to OpenAI, which is not so open. So it's kind of like some people may be forced to go and do this world coin stuff in case they would like to earn access to some future points. But at the moment, it's just optional. Nobody is like forcing you to do it. So that's like a good check mark on their side. But still, I have the privacy concern with this in terms of like how in general in crypto we can prove that we're human. Um, I actually had a video of how like how to prove you're human in crypto and Web3, but there are really not that many ways we can assure this without a certain way of uh, KYCing people. The second concern I had was uh, people cheating. So what if somebody just created a script or they created a better AI to like do all these tasks for them that will allow them to like go up very high in the ranks and earn their money and their fair share and get access to more rewards and therefore become like the top of the food chain and people who don't have access to any kind of AI and they do it all by hand, they will still stay at the low and they'll have to keep grinding. But what they came up with and um, they came up with this way to avoid people cheating is that you will have to post some number of points as a collateral. And if you are detected to be cheating or using bots by having multiple like wrong labeling uh, tasks done, they'll basically slash you and you'll lose your collateral. And again, they are not proof of stake or something like that. They're just using this proof of stake analogy to explain how this works. Um, I did not notice exactly at the very beginning, you don't see it anywhere. So once you just start, you don't really see anything like that. But I assume it is in the future once you start earning actually from this thing. Uh, something, <laughs> earning something. But overall, that was all I wanted to tell you about Sapien. It's a very rushed video because um, I'm deep into works with Kwai at the moment and I just wanted to share something with you. I hope it was like a nice little intro to it. Um, let me know if you check this out. There are some like points or whatever that you may earn for an airdrop, maybe. So um, I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.